What's going on guys, 2F54Runner here, and today we are here for the part two of Rate Your Rig. At first it was Rate Your Forerunner, but now everyone else is uh, kind of, I've kind of made some exceptions. We have all kinds of new shit now. So we have, just trying to think, we got RAV4s, uh, we got, we got some old Chevys, and couple of over a couple of trucks from overseas uh some four by fours and some some pavement princess forerunners as well but uh let's go ahead and get into the ratings um if y'all do want your truck rated uh send it to me on my instagram uh and also also uh, i was watching the video yesterday or er, today sorry i was watching the video today sorry and um I noticed that I say um a lot. I'm really sorry for that. That's just how I talk. Um, <laughs> but that's just that's just how I talk. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I can't help it. Seriously. But yeah, let's get into these uh, these ratings. Alrighty, to start off the list, we have F Runner and his 2003 Limited Fourth Gen. Uh, let's read some of the parts that he's got on here. Uh, 295 7017 Geolander All Terrains. Uh, he has the Advan RGD2, RGD2s. Sorry, uh, it's his wheels. He's got IVD suspension. Uh, he has two inch rear, rear springs and Icon extended 700 pound coilovers. He has Bilstein uh, 5100s in the rear. And then SBC upper control arms, DeMello flat top front bumper, spider tracks, one and a quarter spacer, uh, Yukon gear and axle, 430 gears. That's actually crazy. Uh, Yukon, another Yukon. He has a rear zip locker. He has a ARB air compressor and the engine bay, uh, Baja Designs, 12 inch subwoofer. Then he has Timbrin Industries rear bump stops. Uh, he has the Cali Rays LED ditch bracket. And then AFE power cold air intake with a tune. Whole car has set sound deadening. So that's all the parts that he has for this truck. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at these wheels here. He has the, the GL Anders. Them Advans are actually pretty badass. Nice and sleek with that black. I guess he's more of a, a desert guy. Uh, he's out here in the desert. That fitment, though, is on point. Really do like that bumper. Uh, this truck is super clean. Uh, trying to think. There's really, really nothing that I can critique about this build. He's got the OEM headlights on here. Pretty, pretty badass rig. If I'm going to rate it, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Super clean rig. Nothing wrong with it. Always like the simple and sleek looking forerunners. Congrats. Alrighty, second forerunner for today. We have Titanium SR5 and his 2004 V8 SR5. Now, let's take a list of what he's got on here. He has Yokohama Geolander MTs. Vision off-road wheels, coastal off-road front bumper with the, I think that's the high-rise. It looks like the uh, high-rise little bush bar on the front. He's got the Sherpa roof rack, ox beam 8-switch panel, Badlands 12K winch, Dobinson snorkel, Bilstein 5100s. He's got IBAC springs, I'm guessing in the rear. Uh, he's got the diff drop. He also has Total Chaos body, body mount chop, excuse me. A muffler delete. I bet that sounds amazingly on a V8. Uh, Rough Country pod lights and SPC upper control arms seems to be pretty popular along with the uh, Geolanders here. And then I'm Keith lower link reinforcements. Pretty solid list of parts he's got on here, and I bet that's not all of it. Uh, but that's just that's just a few outright. Now let's take a look at this build. Alrighty, super pretty. Uh, Love the snorkel. It's he, he did that job pretty clean. I've seen a lot of butchered jobs whenever they try and put the snorkel in. 
Uh, paint is probably the cleanest silver I have seen on a 4Runner in a minute. Uh, he's got the flag on the rear. He's got the um, uh, those geolanders looking pretty mean and thick. He's got the uh, orange shackles, looks like stock grill. Uh, this is an older picture, uh, so hopefully he doesn't mind. But uh, it looks pretty damn good even now. And then we have a video here. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is from Tennessee. Oh, taking it in some mud, crawling it. Just a little short video. But other than that, this is a, a pretty solid build. Uh, really, I really don't, like, just <laughs> just like the, all the other ones, I really don't have anything to, bad to say about it. You know, it's not missing a bumper or, you know, got any shit broken on it or something where it's been butchered. Um, so for... Titanium SR5, I'm going to rate him another 9 out of 10. Great looking truck. Uh, I know it's came a long way. I uh, I first followed, uh, his name's Logan. I first followed Logan uh, whenever he was first starting out the build on his 4Runner. And uh, to say the, le the least, it has come a long way. Congrats. Alrighty, so the third truck that we will be rating today is is basic 4th gen's 2005 SR5 4th gen. Now let's take a look at some of the things he's got done to this bad girl. He has old man emu front coilovers, JBA, high caster upper control arms. He has long travel icon 2.0 rear shocks, long travel metal tech rear springs, metal tech rear lower links, uh, KDS, KDSS, Dr. PHCK. I'm guessing that's his wheels. Uh, body mount relocate from Alpine Designs Off Road. He has a Magnaflow Overland Series cat backed exhaust. Uh, KN cold air intake. Snowbound Forerunner washer fluid reservoir. And he is rocking 35 11.5 Nito Trail Grapplers. He's got rear lockers as well as a one and a half inch wheel spacer. Now let's take a look at this thing, see what we think of it. <clears throat> first, first impressions, uh, clean looking build, nice and simple, just the way that I like it. Uh, of course, it has the the infamous fading on the on the fender there with the silver ones. It's always popular. Sun always gets to it. Uh, in this picture here, looks like he, I don't know, he's probably towing out a Jeep or something. You know, I, I don't know. Just just an idea. Could be pulling out a Jeep there. Uh, flexing a little bit there. Then we got a little, trail, or a little video of him going on a trail. Uh, pretty good views. It's good to know that he's actually taking this thing out and using it. Uh, not a lot of people do that. Like I said in my last video... Um, I know a lot of people that don't even take it off-roading. They'll put 35s and a oh, shit ton of money in it and don't ever take it off-road. Uh, which, to be fair, in my first, I uh, I didn't I didn't take mine off-road just because mine was two-wheel drive. And obviously, I'm not stupid. But uh, looking at this picture here, you can see that it's, it's come a long way, but it still has a ton, ton of... Uh, room to put more shit on there and just make it absolutely bonkers then we have this next video here looks like him just climbing a bunch of shit pretty badass uh out there in the snow that silver looks good in that snow but um overall with the parts and everything on it super clean build i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten Alrighty, next rig that we have is Idaho Runners 2005 Limited 4th Gen. Super clean build. Let's see what he's got on here. He has a DeMello off-road front bumper with a 10,000 pound winch. He has Baja Designs for all of his lights. He has a Dobinson's IMS 3-inch lift with extended travel in the rear. 32 bolt bead locks with 33 by... 12 and a half Patagonia MT-02s. 
Uh, he also has 4.56 gears and an e-locker from Eaton, as well as full RCI skid plates. Pretty badass. Now let's take a little gander at this thing. Obviously, he's been taking out my mud out there in the snow. Uh, I've never, I've personally never been to Idaho, so I don't really know how it is out there. I'd like to go one day, uh, but we shall see. First impressions. It is a, it's blue. It's a pretty, it's a pretty rare color on the fortunes. Uh, that, as well as the OEM, he's got the uh, OEM headlights, TRD Pro grill. Uh, I'm guessing all of these pod lights and light bars are uh, Baja Designs. He's got them super chunky wheels, them deep dish. I love those. Those are pretty badass. As well as he's... That looks like a Victory 4x4 roof rack, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think that's what that is. He's got traction bars on the roof. He's got an awning. Uh can't tell if that's a tent or just i think those are just luggage cases up there um pretty badass if i do say so myself um i'm pretty sure yeah we got a video here him whipping that thing in the snow good to see that he's actually using it super clean rig um honest opinion super clean rig i will give it an eight and a half out of ten solid rig alrighty and the other build that we have for today is 850 runner with his 2005 sr5 lots of 2005s in this video but that's all right that's the same year as misty it's the goaded year alrighty let's take a look at what he's got on this thing he has dirt king three and a half inch long travel Dirt King 300 meter axles locked two and a half. Uh, Dobinson's M MRR Sika six piston calibers or calipers. Sorry, gusseted tower and spindles. He's on 488s. He has an ARB locker, dial dynamics for most of his lights, and TEQ custom headlights. Now, let's take a look at this thing. Alrighty, so he's that's crazy i don't i don't understand how you can get an angle like that on the side of the road but uh hey whatever works um pretty bad so he's got a little awning on top uh looks like either a uh I'm trying to think hey that looks like a uh sherpa or a prince rack he has the trd pro front grill uh he's got that front bumper on there and of course the teqs uh, the badass little wheels on there. And he's got them big old thick Mickey Thompsons on that mug. Got some rock sliders. Um, and some Baja Design dish lights. And just look at the stance of this thing. Thing is massive. He's also got that winch on the front of there. I don't know how much, uh, or, you know, how much that, uh, that winch will pull. I bet it's a pretty beefy one, though. But just all of that it's i love how open it is he's got his tools in the back I'm trying to see what that is back there is that a oh it's another i think that's another air compressor he's got a toolbox tool bag back there and he lo looks like he has his um little swing out connected to his i don't know if that's an extended frame or what or no i think that's just the regular frame pretty cool just with the bumper off i don't know um then on the interior here as you see he's got that uh i think that's a digital screen as the mirror he has the uh custom dashboard in the back which is pretty dope uh he's got his own i don't know if that's a like a dyno tune or some like a or a tuner uh on his windshield there That'd be pretty badass if it is. Radio's fucking dope. He's got a TV in it. Even got the damn... Even got his uh, Forerunner on the background of it. Has a ton of patches in here. Ton of stickers all across... Um, all across here. 
pretty stuck though overall um nothing really cra too crazy done to it and of course he has the uh the aux beam control panel up there uh where his sungra sunglass holder is pretty badass let's take a look at this engine bay that agm battery first thing i noticed was that agm battery holy shit look at all those connections that is crazy uh, of course, he's got the aux beam over there uh, with the basically all of his wires and shit. Uh, he has the intake delete with a fucking intake box in there. Uh, engine bay is, looks mostly stock. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm looking at that little cylinder right there and I'm wondering what that is. I don't, there's no way that's an oil catch can. Um, and he does have the uh, Mishimoto radiator, which is pretty badass. Uh, I'm about to get that on my Forerunner as well. So, uh, good thing I, I know someone who's got it. He's got the air B compressor in there, uh, which is pretty badass. Looking at the front here, um, looks like he's he has multiple uh, clutch fans or fan clutches in this. Uh, looks like he's got two fans in this thing. That's actually, well, not, technically, he has one fan and then another radiator. Uh, I wonder what that's for. And this flex. Jesus Christ, that is insane flex. That is probably one of the most badass Forerunners I have seen. Aside, uh, it's Blackwell's Forerunner. Then we got him here on a forklift. It's a vid. He's got the Dobinson in the rear. He is missing the rear bumper, but I'll, I'll, I'll respect it. It's a build in progress. Obviously, this is an older video because he has the, uh, the shitty spec Ds uh, for the headlights. But, hey, it'll be all right. He's also got them blinker panels on there that I had on Misty at, uh, at some point. Oh, but other than that, solid looking truck. I will rate this. Uh, this is probably one of the best ones. There's a lot, lot put into it, a lot of money. And it actually looks pretty good at the same time. Uh, hasn't compromised the integrity of all at all of the truck. Um, so I'll give this a 10 out of 10. Badass truck. Alrighty, and obviously we saved the best for last. Our names, 2010 RAV4 V6 Limited. Alrighty, so uh, we're finally getting off of the, 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 the Forerunner route here. Uh, going into the RAV4. Obviously, the greatest fucking car ever made by Toyota. Um, let's see what he's got going on here. He's got a little bit of the little dragon teeth going with them fucking them little Miata vibes. I dig it. Um, ultimate grocery getter car. So, you know, we got to rate this a 15 out of 10. 100%. Valid ass car. Alrighty. So, that is the end of today's ratings. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that one at the end. Uh, it was pretty badass. Like, I almost shit myself. That's how badass that was. But, um, uh, if y'all did put in, um, my English ain't English in right now. But, um, if y'all did send me pictures and tell me to add it, uh, it definitely will be in the, the future. Of, like, a fuck will be in a future video finally i could get that out but um hope y'all did enjoy today uh today's video if you did drop a like and subscribe and follow me on instagram thanks